Well, hello again. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I really try not to work on pedals and so on in here, but uh, this was just too good to pass up. There's a lot of people talking online about the uh, Ernie Ball VP Junior fine pedals here. Uh, Casper brought in, of course, he had a bad pot. Of course, it's a little Chinese pot. So, anyway, um, you go online, you look, everybody's got a comment. All the cool kids say, well, just throw it away. Buy a real pedal. Well, you know what? The pedal's okay. Just because it's built with, you know, a very inexpensive potentiometer doesn't mean it's a piece of garbage. Yeah, it may not be buffered, it may not be, you know, all this other stuff all you guys think's cool, but yeah, please. Anyway, so what we're going to do, I searched around, took me a while, and I actually found a Honeywell potentiometer that's rated for several thousand turns with a long shaft that I can cut and we'll make it fit. Have to enlarge the mounting hole for the potentiometer in the pedal. And of course, we've got the string kit. So, let's get on with this. Okay, we're just about 15 minutes in here. Um, I've cut the shaft to the length it needed to be for the pulley to fit on it. I've soldered the leads on. Actually, I opened up the mounting bracket for it to fit. Uh, that has to be drilled out to a 3 8 inch diameter for the new pot. We have our string in the foot pedal and have our new spring ready to go. This uh, will prove to be a challenge. We'll see how this goes. So, something I want to mention. Uh, I did go up in value on the pot. The original uh, is 250k. I went to a 500k, and the Mauser part number is 78553C1500K. Well, the pot was you know, rough about 15 bucks. So, anyway. So let's see if we get this together. Uh, I went with the 500k because the 250 actually loads the guitar signal down quite a bit and it makes it darker. Steel players like that. Guitar players don't. In fact, if it had been my own personal pedal, I may have actually gone to one meg. But anyway, uh, we're going to get this together and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, let's do a quick tone comparison. I have an original one over here. So let's plug it in real quick. Oops. Late in the day, folks. Okay. Oh, yeah. A lot of high end missing there. Let's listen to this one again. more sparkle. So, okay. I can say, about an hour. Most challenging part of this job is uh, putting the string on. And I found a little tip there. You can actually put a piece of masking tape on the spring and string connection back here and then pull it off with a pair of needle nose pliers. When you're finished, that way you don't have to chase the spring when it falls off several times. That'll help you a little bit. So, why fix a $100 volume pedal that everybody online says just throw away? Well, why not? It doesn't need to be in a dumpster or a landfill. You know, it's a decent mechanical pedal. There's nothing wrong there. So, challenge one, everybody says don't do it. 
Challenge two, a very good friend says, well, since nobody has information on how to fix it and upgrade it, do it and post hell out of it. So <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing. So there we go. So until next time, play nice. I'll see you later.